Hey guys, today I am unboxing this bad boy. Yeah, this is a SunSync solar inverter. Let me bring the label closer. <coughs> so you can see. So it says, uh, yeah, Sun 5K, whatever, SunSync Sun 5K hybrid inverter. This thing is net weight, you can see there, 21 kilograms. Grand weight, 25 kilograms. I don't know what's extra in there. That makes it 25 kgs, but it's pretty heavy to work with. So let me put that down. And uh, yeah, maybe we can get this out of the box and show you guys how this looks. Um, maybe I'll take you along with the journey of installing this at my home. Oh no, I mean at a secret location that I'm not gonna be able to reveal to you people. But uh, yeah, so let's get old trusty out and get these things cut off. Uh, I normally just use this uh, hook or a belt cutter or whatever. So yeah, do it like this. <laughs> yeah. Fun stuff. Right. Something's happening. The box is opening up. Yo, very, very thick, extremely thick packaging there. This thing is packaged for Africa. Oh, and there's a lot of dangerous stickers here. So you can stick this everywhere. Solar system, PV. And there you go, that's the first thing we see is the inverter. Yeah, so this is the SunSync 5 kVA inverter. Um, as I said, very nicely packaged. They've got a touch screen and on there there's a little sticker. You can remove it, it protects the this nice um, screen of it uh, so because it's heavy and stuff I'm just gonna quickly lift it up so at the bottom you can see here uh, you've got your in and output here the grid the load the generator and then your communication ports they can just go in there uh, this will be for the solar I think uh, oh there's, there's the PV the PV plugs and uh, this is for the batteries so you connect the batteries there uh, the on and off switch here, this is for the PV, so you can switch the PV on and off. Behind this little plate, we'll, we'll open it up now, is all of the electronics where you can plug in your communication cables. Uh, there's a nice place where you can earth the device. This is also a, a port, uh, I hope this one came with it, but this is a communication port for your network. So you can you can connect to the inverter via Wi-Fi, I think. So if it's got that module in the box, that'll be excellent. Uh, one thing before I go ahead, the grid in or the connection here for the grid, this will be an in and out port. They I mean something talk about this a lot, but this port can also deliver back to the grid power. The load port will be where you put your computers, fridges, or whatever stuff you don't want to switch off that will be able to get electricity from the battery side that you can connect to the load. The grid side will switch off once the power is off. This is for safety for the people that works on the lines and whatever, so that's that's just a, like a normal, normal thing for uh, grid tied inverters, but this one is like a hybrid. The generator port is where you connect your generator. So this can help while the power is off. It can start the generator for you and charge the batteries extra or use the generator instead of the batteries or whatever. This, this port can be used for that. And yeah, that's it. This is a just a little uh, or a very nice on and off switch. Okay, so let me see if I can turn this around or... Uh, just get this uh, in a better position so that we can see what's 
uh, in, inside of here. Okay, so just before I continue, um, there's another little box here. That's the one that I think it is. Yeah, the, 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 this will be the, the communication device. That's, it's not, it is the city clamp that you can, that you can install in front of your meter so that this inverter won't push power past that into the grid. So you can use this to, to stop it from generating more power than the one uh, that the power that your house needs. All right, so yeah, then uh, the other thing that's in the bag is to get these, a few of these soda connectors with. Then you get your uh, roll, roll bolts or fasteners for the walls. So if you put this into a cement wall or concrete wall, that, that'll be the fastener for that. This is a little temperature sensor. So you can install that. And there's an Allen key that uh, opens up this space. All right, so no jokes. This is the reason why we are getting this inverter. Uh, as you can hear, my motors and stuff is now in went to battery mode. We've got another session of load shedding. And uh, yeah, so our power has been turned off again due to some, I don't know, too, much, too little power or I don't know what. Uh, there is actually in our country, there's not too little power. There's just little people who want to who wants to work so now uh, let me uh, try and get some light all right so I'm just using a little light from the top now and uh, the light from my from my uh, camera all right so I put it face down first this is the heat sink that's at the back this is your bracket that comes uh, screwed or the bracket that comes fixed to the wall so this slides out to the bottom it's it's screwed in this in, in the sides here with two little screws that it, it just keeps it secure so it doesn't uh, pop out when you work on the inverter or plug in the cables from the bottom or whatever but this thing is so heavy it's, it's more, the, more of a two-man kind of a job um, so yeah this is a big very big heat sink that you've got here uh, to keep the whole thing cool and working nicely so let me quickly just turn it around again and then we'll open up that cover okay took out all the screws by no means take these warnings light lightly this is uh this thing produces serious power so there's your grid connector where you connect your grid your load connector for your devices that's that needs to stay on. This is a little reset button when it's over when it was overloaded. The generator one, um, and then there's a lot of connections which you can use on this thing. It's got the parallel connections because I think you can connect up to 16 of these devices together, creating either three phase power or uh, single phase power, um, increasing the wattage that you can use. Uh, this connector says DR. DRMs. This one says BMS CAN and this is BMS 485 and so parallel parallel and RS 485. Uh, there yeah, at the bottom you've got your connections um, little uh, push connections or whatever you can put those those uh, CT clamp connector in there and, and monitor everything and whatever. The device we will we'll get to the switching on and connecting the solar panels and all of that stuff if i decide to take you guys on this journey but yeah that's the sunsync 5 kva unboxed and uh, just to show you how big it is and what you get in the box uh, specs and everything is all, all, all everything is available they've got a lot of videos on their youtube channel in any case about this stuff they've done this um, I'm just thinking of making this video to maybe show you how this stuff fits together and whatever. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, see you soon.